video will cover cache and bank management in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012. From within Dynamics AX, we will go into the cache and bank management module, and we're going to look at how the setup can be configured. First, we'll look at bank transaction types, and these can be used. These are set up, and then these typically are used during the bank reconciliation process. In addition, uh, during the reconciliation, if you have to add a manual transaction that's not record that's recorded on your bank statement but is not in Dynamics AX, this main account here is what is used uh, during the posting of that adjustment. We'll close that and here we have bank transaction groups and this is a method by which you can create a group and the transaction types that we had just set up can be consolidated together within that group so you may have different types of deposits for example and you would group those together under the single bank transaction group of deposits Again, this is used during bank reconciliation to compute the totals uh, for the different transaction groups. Under the cash and bank management parameters, here is where we set up the transaction type to use for the NSF uh, transaction, which we choose from within the different bank transaction types that we just set up. You can select this checkbox to allow checks for bank or ledger accounts. You can select this checkbox if you want to allow the reuse of check numbers such as when a check has been damaged during printing. Um, you can select whether or not you want to use a review process for payment reversals and deposit slip cancellations. If you don't use a review process the reversal or cancellation will be posted immediately but if you mark these check boxes you'll have a chance to review them within a journal before they get posted and we'll look at that in more detail. Likewise you can indicate whether or not you want to require reason codes uh, during the payment and deposit slip reversal process. You can mark this checkbox to allow prenote creation on bank accounts that have become inactive. And this is used to allow copies of payments which will um, let you print a, a check for the second time if, uh, for example, uh, if you have a case where you need to print it a second time to show a vendor what uh, invoices were paid on that check, um, this allows you to print that copy. And then finally, you have the ability to enter in a, a credit limit tolerance for your bank account. Um, which chooses how to notify the user when a payment journal that's posted exceeds the credit limit. Um, you can either generate a warning or an error which will then stop the process. Okay, now we're going to close this and we're going to look at bank groups. And what bank groups are is a, uh, we will use this form um, such that the bank groups contain information that will default onto the bank accounts that you set up. And so for example you may have a, a several accounts at a given bank and this allows you to set up the address and contact information from that bank uh, just one time and uh, then when you choose this bank group when you set up your bank account the information from this group will default automatically on there. Here we have the bank reasons and um, these are the reason codes that uh, can be set up so that when you are doing a payment cancellation or a deposit slip cancellation you can indicate you know what the reason was. Um, you'll see here all of the reason codes that are set up for all of the different modules and you can mark which ones you want to use within the bank module. In this case we've got uh, check returned, correction of clerical error, lost in the mail, etc. And finally we have the payment purpose codes and these are used 
to create the payment purpose codes that are used for your different banks if this is required and normally this is the central bank is the official bank of a given country or region now we're going to go look at where we set up bank accounts here we have our list of the bank accounts that have been set up we'll uh, open one up and you can uh, see how this is used you'll see here in the general tab we have the general information relating to this bank account for example uh, the routing number the actual bank account number and so forth and on this tab we have the additional information uh, again just some added details that depending on your country or region may uh, be required the currency management tab you indicate the main general ledger account associated with this bank account as well as the main currency that is used the negotiable instrument tab shows you um, allows you to set up the fee amounts and ledger accounts for these negotiable in in instruments this tab is used by legal entities that typically use bill of exchange or promissory notes we have the address where you can enter the address of your bank as well as the contact information uh, of the person responsible and finally we have the dimensions tab where you can select the different dimensions that relate to this bank account now I mentioned the bank group that we had previously seen in the setup and I want to point out the fact that if you have uh, address and contact information on the bank group as you select that bank group that information will default here on the address contact information as well as some of the other fields we saw in there like routing number and so forth In addition, for each bank account, you can set up the layout for the check, promissory note, and bill of exchange. And for each, you have the option to set up the numbering method, whether it's free or fixed. You can set up the, the format um, based on the country or region, the paper length and layout configuration, as well as specifying which fields to print on the document. You can also customize any electronic signatures that you may want to print, which allows you to upload the, uh, the, the bitmap that you're going to use, um, as well as a company logo that you can uh, you know, elect to upload the, uh, the image that you want to print on your document. In the case of checks, you also have the ability to specify the magnetic ink character uh, characters that you want to print on your micker line on the check as well as you have the ability to choose um, how you want uh, uh, copies to be handled if you want the signatures to show as void on there um, whether or not you want to print them and then also how you want your watermark to be handled From your bank account, you can also see all the transactions that relate to that bank account. Um, you can select them. You can also drill back to the original document. Um, and in this case, that's a deposit slip. You can elect to print your document. Take a look at that. And here you can see the deposit slip uh, that we just printed. We'll close that up. And on here you should be able to see all the different checks, promissory notes, bill of exchange, and deposit slips. That'll show the transactions that have flowed into the bank tables from the journals in the general ledger, accounts payable, and accounts receivable modules. Um, We'll close this here on the payments you can see all of the checks that have printed and in this case we can uh, 
do a payment reversal to cancel the payment that was made by that check. Likewise, we can do the same in the deposit slip list where we can see a list of all the deposits and we can again cancel the payment that came in on that deposit slip. And when these cancellations occur, if your parameters are set to review the payment and deposit slip cancellations, a journal will be created where you can review them prior to posting the cancellation. And when we're done here, I'll show you where that is. And finally, we have the bank account reconciliation process where you can reconcile your bank statement against the transactions within Dynamics AX. I'm going to enter in a million dollars here. Click the transactions and it's on this screen where you look at your bank statement and mark the transactions that are on your bank statement uh, that are in Dynamics AX. If you have transactions in your bank statement that are not in Dynamics AX, you would click the new button to create a bank statement line here. And then when you reconcile the account, that would post to the general ledger and update your bank account so that everything is in balance. And as I mentioned, over here is where the journals for the uh, canceled checks and the canceled deposit slips would flow into. And here under the report section is where you can select from a variety of options to print reports on the transactions that have uh, that exist within the cash and bank module. And so this concludes our demonstration of the cash and bank management module and thank you for watching.